Hello, and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. Uh, we last left off, we beat a Thunderjaw and did a lot of more exploration and whatnot. <clears throat> Made it to the Tanakh, uh, I believe it's their capital. I forget the name of it. Uh, finished up one of their uh, strike boards, and now we're going to do some more exploration. So let's get into it. What's going on here? Close combat training. Fighting at long range is a good strategy for machines. But fighting an enemy soldier means getting up in their face. I'm Lee Rocket. I run the training pit here in Scalding Spear. Only a few outlanders have ever made it out this far west. But from what I've heard, you're a pretty good fighter. You can train here if you like, but you're only allowed your spear and a practice bow in the pit. Everything else stays with me. And if you're looking to test your fighting skills, I also offer challenges. Complete all of them, and you'll get to go up against me. And what happens if I beat you? I'll grant you a mark to prove you've mastered this trick. If you earn marks from me and the pit masters of the Bulwark and Thorn March, you'll earn the right to challenge the Enduring. I think I've heard of the Enduring. Some kind of Tanakh's trainer? More than just a trainer. The Enduring is a legendary fighter among the clans. The master of masters. Only those who prove themselves in the pits get to train with the Enduring. Including Outlanders? Yes. If you can beat all the pit masters. So, what will it be? Should you want to practice or take on a challenge, just let me know. Combine single attacks, you can also chain combinations. Try it with this one. different. I want you to practice using Aerial Slash to chain into an Aerial Shot. Yeah! 
I yield. That was a good fight. Pretty sure I'll have a bruise to remember it by. Here, a mark is promised. Thanks. One down, I guess. Go to the training pits in the Bulwark and Thornmarsh. Earn their marks, then you can challenge the Enduring. Few have ever done so, but I think you might have a shot. And if you want to train more or take on another challenge, the pit will... That's enough practice for now. Strike true. Turn into something tasty. Sounds like there are people in trouble. Nora! Hey! Over here! You! Nora! Can you assist us with these chargers? And Nora's fighting the chargers! Hatakto! Before us are the Chargers. Let's find out what those two are doing here. Hatakto! Over here! Yeah, yeah! as it looks. Hey! I'm, uh, guessing you're a Tanakh patrol. How did you end up in trouble with those chargers? You need to answer our questions. We don't answer yours. Hatakto, she just fought on our side. That doesn't mean she's an ally. That's pretty much exactly what that means. And we've enough to do, chasing down these Regala zealots without picking fights with Nora warriors. Regala's desert Tanakh. We should be fighting alongside her instead of sitting this out. Regala has forgotten her duty, and let her anger at the Karja draw us into... We will speak about this later. You fought with courage and honor. You're free to go on to the Grove, Nora. The Grove? Our capital. If you want to spend time in this area, you'd be wise to check in with the commanders there. If Nora's broken her duty, then why aren't we bringing her to justice? Because we follow orders. And orders are we stay neutral in this fight. What sort of soldier hides from a fight? Stock for later.
Doesn't look like there's any way to climb this tarmac. Using shock ammo.
return for something special. Could try using acid ammo.
Gate Queen doesn't fire against that. Getting close to Aether's location. I said it would be in some kind of physical processor. warriors everywhere. What's this place? Next time, I will take your shards. <laughs> Many more soldiers killed since. And Regala's army... Regala's forces may seem strong now. But Her machines took out my entire squad. Remember the visions. The old ones didn't choose their fight, but still they stood firm. They didn't falter. And neither will we. Blood of the Ten. You've come to us. You know who I am? Oh. The warrior with hair like wildfire who defeated Regala's champion at Baron Light. <laughs> yes. You are known to us. I am Decca, chaplain of the Lowland clan. You've come to speak with Chief Hikaro. Not quite. There's... there's something I need here. Anything you need, the Chief will provide. Come. Is that one of the visions you were talking about? Yes. The records of the Ten. 
I can show you them, if you like, on the way to the chief. These visions, you said they're the records of the Ten. Who are they? Old ones, who fought a heroic battle against machines on this very soil long ago. Their deeds are honored in the visions. <laughs> At least what remains of them. To be remembered and exalted. There used to be more of these visions? Many more. Once this place was filled with light and sound, but over the years, they've fallen into darkness, one by one. That is why chaplains are so important to the tribe. We remember all we can of the visions, etched in our flesh, passed down by word of mouth from generation to generation. One day the whole grove may go dark, but chaplains who come after me will keep the memories alive. Why does Hikaru want to see me? We are at war with Regala. And you've already shown that you can stand against her. I'm not here to fight a war for you. Not for us. With us. But I won't try to persuade you. That is for the Chief. He can be very convincing. What does it mean to be a chaplain here? We who outlast our youth study the visions and share their wisdom with our young. What kind of wisdom? How to be a true warrior. To fight with bravery and unflinching honor. And to know when to call for peace. You can see for yourself when we go inside. All right, let's go see Chief Akaro. He's in his throne room, at the far end of the grove. Come, be welcome among the records of the Ten. Come to the It's glitched, incomplete. Their full truths are lost to us. It's the chaplain's duty to make sense of these visions as, as best we can. The Ten were dedicated soldiers, working together as a squad and sharing in their duty. And when the time came for battle, they took to the skies and leaped to glory. All Tanakh seek to follow their example. Before the chief, it was one of the few things the clans had in common. During their war, the Ten climbed sheer rock, braving blinding snow and wind. They stopped at nothing to protect their own. You make them sound invincible. They weren't. But the visions tell us of their courage and strength, something our soldiers aspire to. The Sky Clan admires this one above all the rest. They make their home in the mountains northwest of here. Well met, Aloy. I was hoping we'd run into each other again after the flood and bleeding mark. The Tika. So you did it. You're part of the Chief's Guard now. It wasn't an easy choice, but yes. After you left, we laid Kent up to rest, and I thought about what he said. He served his clan, his tribe, as best as he could. I have to do the same. I'm sure he'd be proud. And he'd reprimand me for allowing myself to be distracted. 
can't have that. Thank you again, Aloy. Strike true as the ten. What's this one about? The Ten waged war against their enemy in the desert heat. A land too harsh for any to survive. But against all odds, they prevailed. So the desert clan does the same. You must have passed through their territory on the way here. I did. They seem a little... extreme. They take that as a compliment. Day's winding down. But that doesn't mean I am. Soldiers in a jungle. Those were the ten? Yes. Hey, they knew how to use the jungle's depths to distract the, the enemy voices, the until the perfect Is moment to strike. Generations ago, my clan, the Lowland, looked to this one for inspiration as they claimed the jungle to the southwest. You have an old world recording? This box was speaking with voices of the old ones. But now there's noise over them. Let me take a look. Where did you find this? We took it from an Asaram Delver. She was trying to steal it, and other artifacts from Tanakh territory. The others were going to bury it in the sand with her. But then I heard the voices. Well, the data here is badly corrupted, but... Delta Juliet 9, you are weapons free and clear to engage the swarm. Good hunting. Copy that. We'll buy Zero Dawn the time you need. Delta Juliet 9, out. The voices of warriors from the past. And that Osiram wanted to sell them for shards. The bravery of the Ten should be remembered. I'm not sure what you mean by the Ten. These voices came from the final battle of the Old Ones. Another battle? I could learn more about it if I could find the other boxes. That Delver did say there might be more recordings to be found in the wreckage of ancient flying machines. She claimed she had a way to locate them. Yeah. The box with the voice data on it is emitting a locator signal. I could use it to find the others. If you do then, bring them back here. I will see to it that they're treated with proper respect. Whatever sacrifices were made by these ancient soldiers, we will honor them. I've already found a recording. I'll take any you find. Uh, let me give you something for it. These voices will be kept here. They will be remembered. Do you get many Osirum Delvers in Tanakh territory? Fewer every time we catch them, but those thieving rats would do anything for the shards. There'll always be some who will risk coming here. And what do you do with the ones you catch? Delvers spend their lives in the dust. So we bury them in it. 
alive. Why do you want these recordings? Every battle teaches its soldiers. We should learn those lessons, and honor those who fell. That is our way. If I find more of those recordings, I'll bring them back to you. My focus can detect beacons from those recording devices. Should help me to find any others that are still out there. What's this? It was planted there by the chief. Ask him if you're curious. It's his tale to tell. Oh. The chief is inside. Are you ready to see him? I'm ready. Good. Come. See you soon, Outlander. The savior of Meridian. I am told you held back Regala's forces outside Baron Light. And defeated her champion, Grutta, in single combat. Impressive. I met Fashav there, too. He said you were a great warrior. And a man of honor. His death is a painful loss among many. We will not soon recover from the massacre of our marshals. But if you are here to pledge your service, that could help considerably. I am not here to fight for you. I need something in that basement. Something that will save many lives, yours included. It's not something you can see, but it is there. I have seen it. You have named your price. Now I name mine. With my marshals dead, I need your spear. Help me defeat my enemies, and I will grant you access to the chamber below. I don't have a price. I am not a hired killer. I'm here to save lives, more than you can count. I count the corpses of Marshal slain. I count hundreds more to knock them, whose lives hang in the balance. I will fight for them. I will kill anyone who threatens the peace, and you will too, if you want me to open the door to the chamber below. Okay. So by that logic, what's stopping me from killing you right now? And taking what I need to save everyone? You could try. You might even succeed. Either way, you must fight. My way might hold off Regala and the slaughter she craves. Fine. What do you need? I need more marshals to keep the tribe together. Such warriors can only be promoted at a trial by combat called the Cool Root. I've sent out a call for the competition. But since Regala seeks to undermine me, she is certain to attack it. She'll want to kill me in front of the assembled clans. So what, you want me to be your bodyguard? No. To defend the Kuru. 
but there is more. Knowing Regala will attack, one of the clans have balked at sending their contestants. You must go north and force Tecote, the commander of the Sky Clan, to submit and send his best. Force him to submit. Do whatever is necessary. I can't hold a cool group with two of the three clans in attendance. Marshal Cathala will assist you. He was maimed at Baron Light, but he can still be of use. I sent him ahead to the northern village of Stone Crest. Meet him there, and he will guide you to the Sky Clan stronghold. If you have any questions about your mission, now is the time. Fashav called Regala your greatest mistake. Why? That is not your concern. Really? I fought against her forces at Baron Light, and I don't even know what her problem is. She was the deadliest of my marshals, the point of my spear. So what happened? Above all, Regala despises the Karja who burned her younger brothers alive. After we turned back the Red Raids and tore down the battlements of Baron Light, she hoped to chase them all the way to Meridian. She could not see the cost of such a war, nor the benefits of peace after the Mad Sun King fell. When I accepted Avad's entreaties, she went mad, called me traitor, challenged me before the marshals. I'm sorry. About Fashav. He seemed like a good man. More than a man. A bridge between Tanakh and Karja. No outlander ever earned our respect as he did. I had hoped he would be my voice in Meridian. That peace with the Karja might become something more. An alliance? An exchange. The Karja have much we lack. Our deeds are written in ink upon our bodies. Our memories die with our flesh, but the Karja never forget. Their deeds are written in book and scroll. You wanted to learn from them? As I learned from Fashav, he will be missed. What exactly is the cool route? Where once the clans fought each other, now we fight as one against the machines. That is my law made manifest in the cool route. Each clan must send contestants whenever I call for the ritual. These contestants face trial by combat against machines in an arena just beyond these walls. Those who distinguish themselves become marshals who bind the tribe together as peacekeepers. Why won't the Sky Clan send contestants to the Cool Route? Of the three clans, they have the most defensible base, protected by a mighty wall called the Bulwark. Their commander believes he can wait out the war between Regala's forces and my own, safe behind his barrier. Staying strong, while you and Regala weaken each other. You think like a seasoned marshal. Good. You called them peacekeepers, but the marshals I met at the embassy were warriors. Warriors, yes, but more. They renounced the clan that birthed them and pledged themselves to order and peace. They enforce my law. They settle disputes and stand for Tanakh in parlay with other tribes. Without them, I cannot rule. Which is why you must ensure the next cool route takes place. Why send me to deal with the Sky Clan? All Tanakh respects strength, and you drove Regala back at Baron Light. That and most of your marshals are dead? Correct. What about Katalo? Can't he do it by himself? He is main. They will no longer respect him. That hardly seems fair. What is fair about losing an arm? Whether they respect him or not, Katalo still has worth. He knows the Sky Clan. He was raised in their base. He will guide you well. What did you do when Regala challenged you? If you were to knock, you would know that such a challenge cannot be refused. It was not easy to subdue her. I bear seven scars from that fight. The other marshals wanted me to execute her on the spot, but I found I could not sever the bond between us. 
Her loyalty had been as boundless as her rage, so I spared her. Rather than mercy, she took it as a humiliation, one she will never be free from. So Rebella wants you dead? She does. But that will not be enough. She won't rest until all three clans fall in behind her as she marches on Meridian. Who knows? With machines under her control, perhaps she can raise it to the ground. It's been tried before. So I hear. You said you saw what's in the basement? I did. On the day of my greatest victory. What do you mean? For a dozen generations, the three clans battled for control of this hallowed ground. Only I achieved it. I fought for years, killed whoever stood in my way. When I had finally slain all rivals, I stood alone in the grove. Victory was mine to savor, or so I thought. Thunder roared from the east, and a bolt of blue struck this place. That chamber. Gaia dies, and Aether arrives. All around me, the visions of the grove grew louder and brighter. And suddenly a new one appeared before me. The old one spoke, and what they said changed everything. What did the old one say to you in this new vision? The one called Faraday foretold the growing danger of the machines, and said we must unify to stop them. She called for marshals to enforce the peace. Then the vision faded, never to be seen again. I marked the spot where it shone with my spear, and I took Faraday's words to heart. Renounced war between the clans, trained warriors to fight machines, ordained marshals through the cool route. Since then, the tribe has been at peace, until Regala attacked at Baron Light. And the chamber beneath the throne. You went in after the vision? I did. Inside is an ancient device. It hums with power. You will see it for yourself after the cool route. This I swear. I'll do what you want, and go north to deal with Dakota. But you'd better not forget about our deal. You will have what was promised, if you succeed. Speak to Decca on your way out. She will arm you for the road ahead. Hikaro said you have something for me? A weapon to aid your mission. You'll need it for the long road to Stonecrest. Many machines prowl along the way, and our scouts have sighted Regala's rebels in the area. Machines and rebels. Nothing I haven't faced before. Indeed. Head north towards the foothills. Ascend its slopes until your legs burn and the chill air catches in your chest. Then you'll know you're in the Sky Clan's domain. Strike true as the ten, Aloy. If I'm gonna get Ether, guess I'll have to play along with Akaro. I'd better meet up with Marshal Catalo at Stonecrest. It'll be faster if I ride a machine. And I'll call that an episode right there. I will catch you guys later. Peace.